Welcome to Dynamic Auto Painter 7. In this series, we will go through the major new features in bite-sized videos. Today's video is about template helpers. The brushes in Dynamic Auto Painter are made up of two template images. The color texture and alpha mask. You can produce those in a variety of ways for custom-built templates. In fact, most of the templates were created something like this. That was just one brush. We need 100 of them. So it is a lengthy process. We introduced a few helper tools in version 7 to help speed up the process. The first is Template Color Helper in Menu Tools. Here we can load the background texture, which is a cropped photo of the painting we just took. The texture will be divided into 100 squares, with the least complex being placed first. That's our color image. We may now save it as a JPEG file, as well as a PSD file for Photoshop editing. The Photoshop file will have a few layers prepared. The bottom is a guide layer, with a grid of 100 squares. This can be used in a number of ways. You can start by creating an empty layer, and then painting with white brushes on top of it. Just make the black layer visible when you wish to export the alpha image. You can also go about it another way. Make a copy of the color layer and place it on top. Then turn it to black and white and adjust the texture to be crisp and bright. Simply paint black around what will be the brushes. They will have a texture that matches the original painting. And do it for all 100 brushes. However, in version 7, we included another tool that can assist in the creation of the alpha image faster. This time go to Tools, Template Alpha Helper. Here we need to load the color map we created in step 1. Yeah, that one. You can now create the brushes using various reactor plugins we provided. The color indicator will let you know which of the 100 brushes you've already made. The red squares represent the underpaint brushes. These brushes need to be quite large. Detail brushes, which are normally considerably smaller and thinner, are represented by the green squares. If you have Photoreactor installed, you can even look inside the plugins and create your own parametric brushes. When you've finished all 100 brushes, it's time to save your work. You have the option of saving the alpha image immediately or saving it as a PSD file. Brushes made this way, in general, require a little more care afterwards, so saving it as a PSD for extra tweaking is recommended. When saved as JPEG files, these files can be then used to create a custom template. Simply select a similar starting template. Then go to edit and load both the color and alpha pictures you just made. Then save it under a different name. Don't expect the template to be right away amazing. Making good brushes takes time. Simply go back to your Photoshop project and manually fix any brushes that aren't working properly. Export, then re-import the files to see if it helped. Creating a good template certainly takes time. Well, we are out of time. To get notified about any new software updates, sales, and promotions, head to MediaChance.com and subscribe to our newsletter. Stay creative and see you soon!